Hello everybody. Uh, now we are trying to repair this uh, Executive 64, the SX64 also. And uh, this one has, uh, shows a black screen. Let's try to power on again. Nothing. Well, almost. Nice random pattern, but most of the time it shows a black screen. And uh, this one has uh, quite a few modifications, uh, which made sense at the time. And this one is a, a toggle switch that uh, allow to reset uh, also probably uh, to reset also the external drive if, it done, uh, if uh, any external drive is connected it has a separate uh, switch uh, uh, push button actually to reset only the 64 CPU and maybe you can see it has a uh, two ROM board, uh, one is the original uh, 64 kernel and uh, the EEPROM one is uh, the speed DOS kernel which uh, allow um, the drive to be accessed with a parallel interface uh, we should see the parallel cable mounted somewhere uh, well I, I guess I'll see when I uh, extract the boards but it has a parallel interface uh, here it is those uh, little flat cable uh, parallel cable between the uh, 64 parallel port, user port, and uh, one of the uh, 15, 41, 60, 522 chips, uh, which greatly uh, enhanced the speed of transfers from uh, the 64 to the 15, 41. This is one of my two executives, uh, one is uh, perfectly working and got uh, it's almost perfect even uh, on the case and everything this one uh, was lacking uh, the keyboard cable and i made a replacement with the regular flat cable uh, db25 connector i had to trim the ends of the connector that goes inside the, the 64 to make it fit uh, but on the other side the keyboard side it's uh, just regular db25 uh, with uh, flat cable mounting uh, here it is the keyboard which has some problems but otherwise it works okay and this one got also missing uh, caps on the handlebar uh, but everything else uh, but is good now we'll try to find out what's the the problem the electronics problem of this one of course the first thing that I'll check is the adapter boards uh, on the kernel and everything and, but first I have to remove this board which is the 64 motherboard and this one which is the interface board uh, we'll see later when uh, I remove the boards okay here we are it's not an easy setup uh, 
this way but the problem is the power supply cable that is too short so I may need uh, an extender but for the moment since most uh, of the chips are socketed uh, we'll try to make some swaps and see if something changes first of all I removed the the option with the dual uh, ROM and put the original kernel ROM in place but it didn't change anything and I removed the seed chip uh, because if it's uh, it is good uh, I will spare the chip uh, many power cycles since it's not needed anyway to power up the system so since it's the most precious uh, chip in the in a 64 I will spare quite a few power cycles to the <coughs> the chip so it was always good to remove the seed chip uh, before troubleshooting a black screen or something on a 64 and well it's almost uh, everything socketed so the big chips uh, I mean <coughs> at least so I will try to make some swap with uh, good chips and see if it fix the problem first okay here we are we have found some problems uh, on the original ROM this is the speed dos one uh, with my adapter and it's mostly okay and I will need to run some tests but the original kernel ROM uh, was probably well it is surely bad and uh, the dual socket uh, maybe has some problems because I uh, tried the, uh, to swap the um, to toggle the ROM here and it didn't work but anyway it could be also because uh, the old uh, kernel ROM the original one was pulling down some data uh, so since I didn't remove, uh, even when not selected, this, probably this uh, switch acts on the select of the ROM. So even when not selected, the original ROM in the dual socket uh, could uh, pull down the data line. And so, anyway, this one kind of works. Uh, I'll make some tests, but uh, I need uh, <laughs> uh, to make a, a small adapter and replace uh, the original kernel ROM anyway, this is the original character generation uh, ROM of this uh, 6 in the UC this dot pattern uh, is not good, so the, the character generation is also bad. Yes, it's okay. The kernel fail is because of the speed DOS version, as anyway, it will fail also with the stock uh, executive kernel because this program has only the original C64 kernel uh, signature. <laughs> available quick tip uh, about uh, executive 64 there is a problem uh, on uh, the user port because this pin uh, well, almost uh, this one jumper to the ground track and uh, this is uh, one of the 9 uh, volt AC and it should not be connected to the ground track so I'll break uh, the connection between uh, 
this last two pins. Uh, this affects uh, some uh, user port uh, tools like uh, the level translator for RS232 RS, uh, or uh, the promenade EEPROM uh, uh, programmer which uh, I have both of them so I better remove this uh, this short on uh, these two pins so every time you open a 64 executive you better check this uh, user port problem and correct it okay just for the record here is uh, how the PCB looks like after removing the, the bad link here we are and I put everything back together including uh, all the mods and it's still missing uh, the original ROM um, and I don't have any compatible pinout uh, EEPROM so I just made a small PCB adapter design and sent to, to a manufacturer of PCBs and I will receive a few samples I think in a few days so I can try to replace uh, this one and uh, VIC-20 that you may have seen on another video and uh, complete this repair 